since the dawn of humanity, mosquitoes have killed almost half of all people who've ever lived. And right now, there are about one quadrillion mosquitoes spreading diseases like malaria. But luckily, there are also people fighting back. This is a story about those people. Oh yeah, let's go! As researchers started to find ways to control malaria, they came up with the idea of bed nets that were treated with an insecticide called pyrethroids. They were initially very effective, but the mosquitoes adapted and started to resist. The old mosquito nets were not working and malaria rates were soaring. So we needed a new generation of nets to overcome the mosquitoes' resistance. So what did you call this new net? It was named Interceptor G2. <laughs> Seriously? Interceptor, Interceptor G2! G2. Uh, sorry, I got carried away. Okay. Developing new products is full of pitfalls, and it requires collaboration across a whole series of different skills. So Tom from IVCC, the Gates Foundation, and a team of experts from around the globe partnered up and joined the new NETS project. The team that came together, we really believe that this is only going to work if we all hold hands and jump together. Oh, you mean actually jump? After examining 4 million chemical compounds, the team finally discovered one that worked. Here's James from BASF to talk about clofenapyr. Clofenapyr, it acts by oxidative uncoupling. It occurs with the endealkylation through intermitochondrial membranes to arrest respiration. Uh, you know, James, not all of us have PhDs. Okay. It robs them of their energy and they die. Got it. Throughout the history of this project, we got knocked back so many times. But I'm a bulldog. Go, James! I don't ever give up. Initially, compared to the old nets, there wasn't really any difference. So the new nets weren't killing mosquitoes. And that was because we had not adapted our testing to the delayed effects of the insecticide. Ah, so it takes time for the new nets to work. As we switched into hot trials, the mosquito mortality rates went as high up as 80, even up to 90 percent. Whoa! Where people have put the new nets out into the field, they see dramatic drops of malaria. That's a 50% drop. These new nets have already prevented 13 million malaria cases and 25,000 deaths. The healthcare system has saved $29 million across 17 countries. And there are a lot of your mosquitoes carrying malaria. If we hadn't had the most dedicated, determined, and enjoyable people I've ever worked with in my life, we would never have got this far. The Gates Foundation, partners of human potential.